I'm Randy Maxey. I'm here to introduce to you a line of wood body European style hand planes offered by Infinity Cutting Tools. Now to many of us Westerners, a uh, hand plane that, like this may look a little strange, but these have been used in Europe for hundreds if not thousands of years. These planes are made for us by a European company that has been making hand tools for well over a hundred years. And you'll still find these planes in use around carpenter shops all around the world. Now let's take a closer look at all of the different types of planes we have available and what uses they may have in your shop. The scrub plane is a little bit narrower than the jack plane and the smoothing plane. And with its wide mouth and radius blade, it's designed to remove a lot of material in a hurry. You would use this plane if you want to bring some material down to thickness in a hurry, or if you've got some bow and twist in your board, you want to straighten it out. The scrub plane is the tool to do that. The reason it's called a scrub plane is you actually use sort of a scrubbing motion and typically you'll go across the grain or diagonal to the grain to remove a lot of material. The last two planes I want to talk about are the jack plane and the smoothing plane. Now they're identical in size and shape, but there is one subtle difference I'll talk about in a second. The jack plane is, as its name implies, is a jack of all trades. You can use it in a pinch as a joiner on shorter work pieces. You could use it to smooth the face of a workpiece and uh, even uh, rough out the thickness of a workpiece depending on how the blade is sharpened. The smoothing plane has a steeper bed angle at 49 degrees versus the 45 degrees on the jack plane. What this does is allows you to get that glass smooth finish as a final step before assembling your project. The joiner plane is kind of like the granddaddy of all the wood body hand planes. The long body is able to ride across the peaks and valleys of a, the edge of a board and you can even use it to flatten the face of a workpiece. Infinity offers three different types of rabbit planes. Now when would you use a rabbit plane? Well rabbit planes are the ideal tool for fine tuning joinery. Whether you cut that joinery by hand or use power tools, nothing is as accurate as a rabbit plane for fine tuning that joint for a perfect fit. I want to take some time now and talk about the three different types of rabbit planes we have and why you might use them in your shop. One of the unique features about all rabbit planes is that the plane iron extends all the way to the sides of the plane body. This allows you to get into corners of rabbits, uh, dados, grooves, for trimming tongues to fit into a groove, all sorts of joinery applications. The rabbiting plane is the ideal tool. Infinity Cutting Tools offers a set of double rabbit planes that are available in four different widths depending on your application. What's unique about these planes is that they have two different locations for the, the plane iron. The front location is used in what's called a bullnose application where you need to get tight into a corner. And then they offer the traditional uh, midpoint location for the iron. Infinity Cutting Tools also offers a traditional style rabbit plane with an adjustable sole. You can loosen the knob at the top and then move the sole in or out to adjust the mouth opening for a smooth cut. The skew rabbit plane also has an adjustable sole, but what's unique about it is that the blade is at a skew angle or an angle to the sole of the plane, and this makes it ideal for slicing across the end grain or cross grain in joinery applications. Now one of the questions that often comes up when someone sees a plane style like this is how in the world do you adjust the plane iron to get that quality cut? Well it's really pretty simple and it just takes a little bit of practice. On some of our bench planes you'll notice that there's included a strike button on the back and there's a really good reason for that. Using one of our plane adjusting mallets you strike that button holding the plane over the workbench just in case the blade wants to fall out and it'll hit the workbench instead of the floor. So you want to hold the plane like this to, to hold the wedge and iron in place and strike it a few times on the strike button and the wedge and the iron assembly will come right out. Now to initially set the plane iron, I like to set it on the plane body on a scrap piece of wood, insert the plane iron, insert the wedge, and then using the Delrin tip on my plane adjusting mallet, just kind of seat the wedge a little bit. From here on out, you're going to hold the plane upside down again over the workbench, and you're going to sight down the sole of the plane and look for a really thin, even line across the mouth of the plane 
to adjust the depth of the blade. Now if the blade is projecting too much, you can take your mallet and slightly tap the plain body on the back and it should retract the blade a little bit and then you'll use the Delrin trip tip of the mallet to seat the wedge to make sure that iron is tight. If you need to make an adjustment laterally, in other words to make the blade straight and flat across the sole, use the brass end of the mallet and just tap the side of the blade until you see a nice thin even line across the sole of the plane. Now with the plane iron seated you're going to take a few test cuts. If you need to make some adjustments to the blade you can use the mallet and actually touch tap the blade to seat it a little deeper. If it's just a hairline adjustment you need often all it takes is just to tap the wedge a couple times and that will also adjust the blade just a little bit deeper for that perfect cut. Now when you receive your new hand plane you'll want to sharpen and hone the blade. This involves flattening the back and polishing the bevel. To do this, we recommend the sandpaper sharpening system. Andrew shows you how this system works in the video linked in the description. Another great sharpening solution is our five-piece diamond stone sharpening package. Diamond stones cut quickly, stay flat, and last a very long time. Whatever your choice of sharpening system, the techniques are the same. Infinity Cutting Tools offers these planes in three different packages that you can use in your shop. They offer a package of just the bench planes and the plane adjusting mallet. You can buy the complete set of rabbit planes with a plane adjusting mallet, or you can buy the entire line of hand planes and both plane adjusting mallets in one value-packed money-saving package.